Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a head-to-head -head shootout between the Fender Player Series versus the Silver Sky SE. Who's the king of the single coil? Well, today, let's find out. Yes, welcome back to the channel, you guys. I hope you're having a great day today. As I mentioned, Silver Sky SE versus Player Series. Now, one of the things that makes this comparison interesting is these guitars are not only in the same price tier, they're the exact same price. At Sweetwater, the Player Series, $850. The PRS SE Silver Sky, $850. These guitars are the exact same price. So, Given the choice, which would be the right one for you? Well, we're hopefully gonna help you guys decide that today. So we're gonna start with a feature versus feature comparison. Then we'll do, of course, a tone versus tone. That one's really important. And then we'll talk about the playing experience, which is also very important. So here we go, feature versus feature. Let's get going. Let's start up on the headstocks. Now, the Strat headstock really needs no introduction. It's been around since the 50s, but as you guys know, very basic tuning machines on these, no lockers, but they're like the good old standard. They get the job done for sure. There's no tilt back on the headstock and the nut is a plastic nut. Now, on the PRS, SE Silver Sky. As you can see, it's a three plus three with vintage style tuning machines. Uh, they work very, very well. Uh, as I mentioned in my demo, not a huge fan of the buttons, but you know, that's just my opinion. Uh, a little bit of a tilt back on the headstock. That's different than the Strat, which is obviously very straight. A uh, pretty straight string pull through the nut as well. And the nut's plastic. So I would say this one's probably a draw just depends on like aesthetically which one you like, but feature versus feature, very comparable. Right, now let's compare the guitar necks. This is very important because obviously this is how we interact with our instruments. And if there's something off, well, it can ruin the entire experience. Now, thankfully the necks on both of these models are very good, but there are some differences. Number one, well, very limited options for the Silver Sky SE. Namely, well, there's one option and it's this. Every single one of the SE as of now uh, comes with a rosewood board and a maple neck. Nice and satin on the back. As you can see, there's no skunk stripe. So the truss rod went in under the fingerboard and you get the basic birds. So that's just kind of a look. Nice shiny frets. Fret ends are very good as well as I showed you guys on the full demo of this guitar. Uh, really nice playing neck. This is a great neck. Now for the player series, you do get two options, at least of right now. I'd love to see them bring Rosewood back, but as of now you get Maple or Pau Ferro. Now <clears throat> for Pau Ferro, I don't think it fits every model well, especially something like this that has the cherry burst. So for me, Maple definitely was the option and the way to go. Pau Ferro can look very good on some models and I like it better if it's kind of dark and looks more like Rosewood. If it's too light and too reddish, um, yeah, I, I just personally don't think it goes with every guitar, but it is a point in Fender's favor that you do have a couple options. The fret ends are kind of rough on the Fender and a little smoother on the PRS SE. So that could be a point in favor of the Silver Sky. So I would say the versatility and the options of the Fender is a point. The neck is to me, maybe slightly nicer on the fretwork of the SE. So I'm gonna call this one a draw again. Nice to have options on the Fender. More limited here, but very well done. Next up is body versus body. Now, for the Silver Sky SE, it's made of poplar. So I don't know if I should knock it for that or not. I think alder is the traditional choice when you're talking about an S-style guitar. But in its favor, it's also lighter than the Fender. So very lightweight body here on the Silver Sky. Point definitely goes for the contoured heel joint. That's really nice. And you do get the PRS lower scoop right there. Hopefully you can see that additional contour right there. So the Silver Sky does have a few additional contours versus the Fender uh, and the body's a little bit lighter. Now, when we talk about the player series, options again are king as with the entire Strat. So if you want a specific color, you're probably more likely to find it in a player series. Like this, you can get plain top, you can get translucent finishes, you can get flame veneers, the options, so many more for the Fender. So if you want a specific body color, yeah, you're more likely to find it on the player series. A uh, knock definitely is for the traditional block there. Take a shot for you guys. 
Uh, save this for your traditional models. Fender has traditional takes on the Strat in almost every price tier. Uh, but for the Player Series, for the American Standard, on and on and on, uh, give us a, a few more contours there. Give us some more playing comfort, right? So that's kind of a knock there. Uh, I like the block, but save it for the traditional models. That's just my opinion. Um, and other than that, all the contours and everything are very similar to every other Strat. So I would say probably a draw many many more options for the fender uh, a few more contours and lightweight for the prs seller sky now as for the pickups well stay tuned because we're about to do our head-to-head -to -head tone comparison the rest of the electronics are very similar between models so full-size pots high quality five-way switches and each guitar has a separate tone control for the bridge pickup which is fantastic because sometimes those bridges can get a little out of control with the the bright zinginess so to be able to just kind of dial that back on its own separate tone control is fantastic both guitars feature that now the last thing really to compare is the trem units now i just got to go straight to the prs se silver sky it's better than the Fender one in a couple ways. Both of them are two point trims and both of them hold tune really well. So if you're just looking for something basic that holds tune, well, the Player Series is actually really good, but the features on the SE are much better. You get a pop in, pop out bar with a set screw that's really easy to access. So it's a great, great system. Fender on the Player Series are still doing the screw in, screw out bar. Can't believe I'm saying that <laughs> here in 2022. Fender still has that. Like they skimp on the features as they bring them down the line. So finally we have a two point trim on the player series. And like I said, it works well, it feels good and holds tune if you're careful with it. Um, but the features on it with the, the screw in screw out bar, um, yeah. Definitely the SE is much better for that. So there you guys go. That's kind of like feature versus feature. Hopefully maybe that steers you in one direction or the other when you're trying to choose between these two models. But now here's the big thing. Let's go head to head, single coil versus single coil. Here we go. And finally, let's talk about playability between these two guitars. Really important when considering a new instrument. Uh, let's talk about weight first. So I'm gonna throw them on the scale. I don't remember what the, the Strat weighs. I can tell in the hand that the Silver Sky weighs a little bit less. I don't know by how much. And of course, there's gonna be variations between guitars um, as you buy your own model. But let's throw them on the scale and find out between these two. All right, so let's start with the Fender Player Series. Here we go. We'll measure them with the bars in and everything. Looks like about 7.98 pounds, somewhere right in there. It's just kind of flicking between the two. So let's call her about eight pounds. That's for the player series. 
And here is Silver Sky SE. Same thing. Oh, no wonder I could feel the difference in hand. <laughs> it's about a full pound lighter. So that's that poplar body. 7.1 pounds versus 8 pounds. So yeah, very, very light on the Silver Sky. Now, as for the rest of the playability on these two guitars, well, firstly, I'll say this. Number one, there's not going to be a lot of people complaining about the ergonomics of a Strat. It's a wonderful instrument, very comfortable to play. And as I said, well, they've been around so long, the player series, it's the king of versatility. You want a specific color, you want a specific even pickup layout. There's just so many options within the player series. So comfortable guitar, classic design, so many different options in terms of how you want it to look. Now, when we talk about uh, the Silver Sky SE, well, objectively, it's much lighter. It's got more contours on it. Um, yeah, it's just a more comfortable guitar to play. That little one right there, so getting up high. Yeah, so in terms of like these two guitars, well, the Silver Sky is more comfortable to play. And my only knock is kind of like the cheap plastic buttons they are and the cheap plastic here, as I mentioned in my full demo. Um, so yeah, versatility and classic looks versus sort of uh, the new guitar-ish on the block, <laughs> but more modern features on the trim and on the body and on the contour. So hopefully that'll help you guys choose between these two models. Uh, yeah. It was a lot of fun to put together. So I'll link to both guitars in the video description below. You can do a spec by spec comparison down there as well. There's slight differences between fingerboard radius and that kind of stuff as well that you might want to check out. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You can do so by clicking my face right here. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day. Take care.